cream truck came today. Okay. And I was so cloud nine excited that gravity could not calm me down. If I wanted, I could jump high into the sky. Maybe even higher, snatch the J's off the telephone wire, toss them on, lace them up, and make my way over to the ice cream truck. I rally my friends as I pass them. They spill out of their front door. Some mirror the color of melted whoppers and milk does, while others use a smile as the cream inside those round caramels. Some, some be strawberry shortcake and banana twin skin, while others be fudge round. Both Cookie and Stripe and we are all looking for a snack and so we run. The wind at our backs propelling us toward the truck and me are, well I'm faster than everybody in my wake. See I've always been the first to take off, the first to jump the gate, the first to see an opportunity to run and grab it by the throat because to me the only time that the last is first and the first is last is in the Bible. So boy you best make sure, you best make sure you are at the front of every single line you come across, I cross. The street. I dare my friends to dart into traffic with me because no cause can hit me. No cause can hit me. Our youth act as a force field. Our smiles force feet to slam on brakes. But when I got to the other side and saw the burlap sack in the back alley, I screeched to a halt and the smile melted off my face. My friends, my friends, Skid marked their way to my side just the same. We figured it was strange. A strange way to deliver treats to kids, but we decided to turn a blind eye to it. After all, they're treats. We're kids. And treats are for kids, and so we closed in on the back. We ripped it open looking for, for popsicles, firecrackers, and drumstick, and instead we found treats that when you fire, they make a popping sound. When you fire, they make a popping sound. They make your heart beat as hard as a drum. Boy, this ain't no ice cream, but it's still cold. This is not no ice cream, but it's still cold. This ain't no ice cream, but it's still cold. Can't melt, but still drips with the blood of those who was used on. How stupid was I? How stupid was I to bring my friends to this back alley? How stupid was I to not know that I've been hearing sirens for so long it almost sounds like music to my ears? How didn't I? How didn't I? How didn't I, who was always the first in line, not see that truck speeding out the back alley? How slow was I to realize that ice cream trucks bear more colors than red and blue and my friends are still standing there, tearing the bag open, ignoring the scratched off serial numbers, kind of like how only parents pay attention to the cost of an ice cream and teach Forget the strawberry insides of our cousins and our siblings. Forget the streetlight poles that serve as sticks for the memories of our loved ones, the pocket belong. Forget the shoulders that bear caskets like ice delivered to the back door of a business on wheels. The hearses, the hearses that act as trucks and the wails of mothers and friends that act as songs and on and on it goes. And I'm standing there watching my friends sick and disgusted, tired, tired. Tired of being tricked. But there I go again. Ignoring the fact that I know from a long time ago that that white animal on those commercials was always laughing at us. Mm. Calling us silly. Mm. Telling us that tricks are for kids. Mm.